I think that's really helpful. And that's what she was speaking to. You know, when she, I mean, when well, I loved her line, we focus more on being uh, gifted, but not graceful, or yeah. we're, we do outward um, giftedness, but we're not looking at inward transformation. Yeah. And I know one of the things you've helped leaders do, uh, and having been the beneficiary of going through a life plan uh, specifically with you, uh, uh, the value of leadership, because it doesn't matter at what point where we are on the team, right? Uh, leading when we're not in charge. The reality is even the lead person uh, isn't completely in charge, right? There's always, there's, there's, there's accountability uh, everywhere we go and how do we lead? And you can't lead from a place of unhealthiness. So talk about that cycle. Cause I think it's really beneficial. Man. Yeah. Um, well, I'm going to get, I'm, I think uh, we talk about life lane, but I'm going to get, I'm going to credit, a guy whose life plan we just, I just worked a little bit with Mitch Harrison from Canyon Ridge and he gave me this great framework and it's going to tee up why you should be at Spire. Okay. Just listen, listen to this framework and it's all about you and what you must be doing to stay healthy. He said, what are you doing to rest? Okay. And then what am I doing daily, weekly, monthly to rest? And he was saying literal, literal sleep is a part of that. I think during the pandemic, under stress, we actually needed more sleep, but we often got less. What are you doing to release the big burdens of ministry, the big rocks you're carrying around? And so I think about Spire, the event, It's we're going to have opportunities to literally let go. Mm -hmm. So for him, it was another ministry leader that he goes, a wise, older leader that he goes and meets with on a regular basis. What are you doing to receive from the Lord? How do you make that a part of your routine? So rest, release, receive. And then what are you doing to recreate yourself? So in other words, that recreational component for me, I love to golf. I don't get to golf quite as much as I used to, but uh, it does really real refill my tanks. Okay. Uh, when it comes to energy, uh, my partner, Doug, he loves the ocean. You know, that's what he does to recreate himself. And then uh, finally, what are you doing to relate? Who's what, what other peer relationship are you in where you're supporting them? They're supporting you and uh, life-changing relationships are a key part of uh, being a disciple of Jesus, I believe. So rest, release, receive, recreate, and relate. And I, I thought as you gave me that framework um, and, and how to maybe think about mapping it daily, weekly, monthly, and annually, what are you doing in those arenas? And they, you need different levels during different seasons. Not you can't take all day every day and and rest, you know. But what are your rhythms around those things? And I thought about the Spire Conference. I was like, it literally, you could have a plan to rest, release, receive, recreate, and relate. And I, I think we are designing it such that that little action plan for life replenishment and staying and abiding is uh is 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 uh, executable at our event 